Hi everyone, in this video we're going to give an example of a function from the set of real numbers into the set of real numbers such that the function is continuous and closed but not open. So what does this mean? Let me briefly explain this. So if you have a function from A to B, we say a function from A to B is, let's say, open if for every open set O contained in A, we have that the image of O under F is open in B. So is open in B. So open functions map open sets to open sets. Likewise, a closed function would map a closed set to a closed set. So you could replace this here with closed and then go over here and replace this with closed and then simply replace this with closed and then you have the definition of a closed function. So what, what is this set? So f of o, as a reminder, this is going to be the, all the y values. So it's, it's the elements of the form f of x such that x is in O. Okay, this is called the direct image or the image of O under F. So if you have say A here and you have say B here, then this would be your O. Okay, and then all of the elements in O get mapped to another set which I'll draw here, and this set here is the direct image of O under F, so it's F of O. Hope that made sense. <laughs> so this does require some background, so I'm kind of assuming you, you, you're familiar with this. Um, let's keep going. So let's give an example of a function now that is continuous and closed but not open. So uh, a simple example would be the following. Um, so solution will define there's infinitely many solutions to this problem. This is just one example. F from the set of real numbers to the set of real numbers by, uh, let's do a constant function because its direct image will just be a singleton set. So f of x equals, I don't know, 2 for all x and r. So we're defining it this way. So this function is clearly continuous. It's the constant function, so it's continuous. No problems there. Even from like an elementary calculus viewpoint, it, it has no holes or breaks. It's a horizontal line, beautifully continuous. So now we just need to uh, take a set, uh, a subset here, and look at the direct image. So for any, for any O contained in R, we can look at the direct image of O direct image of O under F, this will be the set of all F of X, such that X is in O. So this is the set of, well, F of X is always two, no matter what. This is two, such that X is in O. So as long as O is not empty, this is always going to be two. The set containing two. So this is a singleton set, so this is closed in the codomain, so it's closed in R. Because its complement is open, its complement is a union of open intervals. So it's always closed, no matter what. So in particular, if O is closed, this is closed. So this is a closed continuous map. So F is closed and continuous. Again, this is for any set O, so if O is closed, this is closed. So in particular, it's a closed map because it takes closed sets and maps them to, clo maps them to closed sets. And it's continuous because it's the constant function. And it's obviously not open, so F is not open. And the reason it's not open is because if you take any set, if you take any open set, it's going to be closed, right? In order for it to be open, it has to map open sets to open sets. It doesn't do that. In fact, it maps every single set into a closed set. So it's like a super closed uh, function. So kind of an interesting problem and probably uh, an introduction to this definition. You, it's a good chance you've never seen this, uh, perhaps. So this is uh, from, from topology. 
I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who is trying to learn some more mathematics. Until next time, take care.